Max Collins as Rosalia and Lizelle Lopez as Zandra. Absolutely brilliant and beautiful choice for casting. Here are my thoughts for Voltus 5 Legacy Episode 4, The Voltus Team. Be warned, spoilers ahead. It's this episode that things are starting to get the ball rolling. By that I mean the CG and the acting. We get a glimpse of what appears to be a dagger that will most likely play a significant role near the end. Now, if you guys have watched Voltus 5 episode 40, which is liberation from the cartoons from the 70s, not to spoil anything, but pay attention to that dagger because it will play a huge role to the finale of Voltus 5. Now, in this episode, the two protagonists are born. Rosalia giving birth to Prince Zardos, meanwhile back on Earth, Ned and Marianne think of a name for their upcoming son, Steve Armstrong. I have to admit, I actually really enjoyed the chemistry between Rothgar, sorry, Ned and uh, Marianne, the one where they're talking about cutting his hair and the touch. I thought that was a little cheesy, but it actually worked. I was actually really surprised. And I think this is where... The, the essence of Filipino drama kicks in. And I've said it before in my previous videos, the Filipino community is very good with dramas. When I grew up in the 80s, I used to watch a show called uh, Mga Batang Yagit. It was a, it was a TV sitcom. It was a, yeah, I mean, it's on YouTube, by the way. If you watch it, it's, it's a little dated. Back in the day, the, the drama just uh, draws you in. And I can tell I, something about... This episode, let this be the episode where I think things are going to start turning. Uh, the first two didn't really draw me in because of the things that I was expecting, but the chemistry between Marianne and Ned, I think it's blooming into something else. Of course, we're going to see the uh, family grow as the episodes progress, but I think there's going to be more conflict, and I'm, I'm rooting for that because, in my opinion, it's looking pretty good. I'm starting to get a vibe where I think this is going to get us to something better. But who knows? It's still early. We're only on episode four. Now, I know I've been kind of complaining about the, you know, CG for the past couple of videos. But I got to say, the schematics room, the briefing room where they're talking about the Voltus robot, it's a 3D wireframe of the vehicles and the Voltus robot. It was actually pretty cool. I thought, oh, wow, that's like it's like the, the blueprint of the the robot, and they're trying to discuss what they're gonna do to it. The, the lady doing this was stupid. Like she goes robot. Like she's talking like everyone's stupid. Like oh, I didn't like that part at all. She didn't have to go do the quotations when she said robot. I think that was so unnecessary. Now fast forward into the end of the episode, we find out that a little time has passed. And we see a little Steve, a little Big Bert, and little John in the belly waiting to be born. We find out that Ned wants to leave to go back to Bozania because rightfully so. I think he knows that he has a, another son there, which is why he wants to go. He's leaving his family here, but I think that's where every, everything starts to, to conflict. It's a pretty unique story, to say the least. I don't want to say too much. I've seen the cartoon many, many times. And I know the, the premise of the show. I know who the players are. I know how it ends. I've already seen it. But who knows? Maybe GMA will throw a, a curveball our way and subvert our expectations. Not too much. I don't think it'd be a good idea to change everything. But who knows? There might be surprises along the way. I think the thing that really worked in this episode is the chemistry. Every, every character that I saw on screen seemed to gel really well. Especially Ned and Marianne when they're talking. The beach scene where... He kind of makes a move on her and he grabs her hand. Really, really slick. You know, come to think of it, I can't think of one bad thing about this episode. I actually enjoy it. Overall, this episode, in my opinion, was fantastic. I give this one 4.5 out of 5. What are your thoughts? Did you like the episode? Make sure to subscribe to my channel for future updates, and I'll be doing 5, 6, 7, and 8 this week. Guys, catch you next time, and thank you for watching. Bye for now.